<laughs> Yarmo, do you want to come in here and hang out with me after these two get shipped out of here? I'm getting Please. a little nervous. People talking about getting fired. <laughs> oh, you're okay. you're no, you're good. You better win 16 in a row again. <laughs> I lost 16 in a row when I was there. You know, Yarmo, just try one, okay? Just win one, all right? That's all we're asking for. One, one at a time. time. That's right. So Saad goes out and does his thing last night. Uh, are you excited about uh, Panarin this evening as you guys get going against the Islanders? Yeah, yeah. I, I try to look at always the big picture and not get caught up with one game one way or the other. And, and uh, you know, tonight's a good good opportunity for our team to, uh, again, prove that we uh, do belong in the uh, – in the among the uh, playoff teams in the NHL and among the elite, and I think we want to take the next step, but we got to prove it on the ice and take it one day at a time and one game at a time. So, you know, you come off the playoffs last year. I mean, obviously a great year last year, Yarmo, and and then playoffs not so good. Uh, Bobrovsky has a up and down training camp. Finished strong, did he, and is ready. Yeah, I, I, he's at least some of our worries. He's such a pro, and, and he always seems to get on his level um, of play, and, and it's been very high for the last two years. Uh, the only thing that I've worried about in the past is his health because he puts his body through such uh, extreme workouts and, and routines that uh, it sometimes seems like it's not human humanly possible to stay healthy all year, but I think that he's adjusted. He's very smart that way and, and uh, evaluates himself uh, all the time. In all areas of the game, how can he get better? And, and I think that that's one of the areas where he's made adjustments and, and, and stayed healthy all last year, and that's what we're hoping for in the upcoming season as well. So the year that Austin Matthews went one and Patrick Laine went two, you took Pierre-Luc Dubois, who you sent back to junior hockey. He's made your roster. What what do we expect out of him and and in your talks with uh, with John Tortorella? How much ice time do you expect this guy to get? Well, he'll get what he earns, and he's played very well through the, uh, the the training camp. And there's a perfect example of a guy who we try to look at the big picture and and potentially the you know the, the one of the toughest jobs in in pro hockey is amateur scouting. And and the, when those guys put their list together, they try to project the whole career of a guy, not just one game or one season or, or one month of it. So Pierre-Luc Dubois is getting started with us now and hopefully uh, be with our organization for a long time, but uh, he'll still have to earn every shift from his coach. And But we've had we've had some really good progress uh, in the start of the year here in training camp, through the training camp, and and physically he's, he's been ready for a while. He's a big boy, and, and he's just gaining confidence now and, and starting to feel comfortable on this level. So we're excited to see both him and Sonny Milano in, in our opening night lineup because they both definitely earned it through the training camp and were two of two of our best forwards through uh, the exhibition season. Yarmo Kakalina is the general manager of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Who will Pierre play with? Well, I think he's, he's going to play with Dubinsky and Caliber tonight. They were a good line against Pittsburgh. Um, in Pittsburgh in our last exhibition game, and I think the lines are going to be the same tonight. Is it fair to say that Josh Anderson won't be in the lineup tonight, or are you going to put him in the lineup tonight? He will in not the minor, be in the lineup tonight. He's going to play in Cleveland okay. tomorrow, just to get his feet wet and get one exhibition game under his belt, and we'll go from there, and hopefully he'll be ready for Tuesday's game. Well, you're a hard ass, eh? Send him right to the minors after a no, negotiation? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. He, he actually I'm kidding. Had to... I, I know you are, but I wanted to make sure that when we talked to Josh, too, that this is not any kind of a punishment, but he's missed all just the screen to... camp. And but he had to agree games. to that, correct? Yes, he did, yeah. and he he completely did too. He, he said, "Yeah, I need to play a game and uh, get ready." And so um, he went there today and practiced with the team, and uh, he's going to play tomorrow. And and um, hopefully that'll uh, get him to the next step there, and and we have another game on Tuesday. So I've been listening for three months to the Duchesne rumors to Columbus. When's it going to happen? <laughs> Takes two. Like to no, tango. seriously. I, I, come I on now. To the rumors too, and I hear them. <laughs> sometimes there's rumors about nothing, and, and sometimes there's rumors about this and that. So I'll let you guys speculate. So the, rumors. the story I heard the other day about a three-way deal with Columbus and so and so and so and so isn't happening. Then I guess before tonight. Not that I know of. Okay. Well, you better know. <laughs> hey, I should know. I think <laughs> if that was happening. Do you? Uh... Do you change your expectations for this year? Or how do you adjust after such an incredible regular season last year? 
Well, you guys mentioned the uh, 16 game winning streak. That those are hard to uh, hard to get to uh, again, and, and probably won't happen again this year. And um, you know, you take that that out of there, and you add add in a 11 and five or 10 and six and whatever, and it takes us down probably to 100 or below 100 points. But then again, you could have other parts of the season go more favorably or or or, or differently. So. I don't look at it as as our goal is to get so many points. I look at it, our goal is to make the playoffs, but but we have the uh, one of the youngest teams in the league. I think might be the youngest team uh, for the opening rosters. Um, for somebody somebody was giving me the stats the other day that I think we have the the youngest team for the opening uh, day rosters, and and for us it's about getting better every day. We just uh, I, I'll say this, and it might sound like a boring answer, but I'm going to say this again and again and again. That we have to focus on doing. We have to focus on getting, getting the habits right every day, where we do it over and over again until it becomes a habit. Where that's the only way we do business with the Blue Jackets is, is getting better every day, and that will bring results to at the end of the day on the uh, standings too. Zach Wierenski, uh comes in and really has an amazing start uh, to his career as a as a youngster on the back end. I mean, the sky's the limit for this guy, Armo. Yeah, he, he's the real deal. There's no question about it. He had a great season last year, and uh, and him and Seth Jones um, are a pairing that we can be proud of, hopefully for many, many, many years to come. They're both mobile. They both can move the puck by passing or skating it out of the zone. And they're they're both smart defenders. They're they're hard to uh, beat one on one when they're defending. They have the reach, they have the mobility, they have the quickness. All those things that you're looking for in a modern-day defenseman. And, and like you said, he's just getting started. He's 20 years old now. Um, and I, I don't think that, um, you know, he, he can be slowed down. He's such a professional, too. He's, he's looking for ways to get better. And one of those guys that really uh, we look to to become a leader in our team because he, he is such a pro and, and he can be a great example for everybody in our team, not just the younger guys, but the, the veterans as well. How seriously he takes his profession as a hockey player and how much and what kind of desire he has to get better every day.